Hello my lovelies. How is everyone out there doing today? My name is Jenny. Welcome to my channel. What did you think of my new intro? Did you like it? I absolutely love it. I've been wanting to do an intro for so long, but I thought just I don't know how to do any of that. I don't know if I'm ready to do any of that, but you know what? Why not? My friend Marissa got an intro and I just fell in love with it. And um, I commented on her Instagram page when she got it that I thought it was really cool. I loved it. And the person that did hers, and I will leave her information in the description box for you. She actually contacted me about getting that and she also did my banner. I have three banners, so you'll see like the picture actually change every once in a while. And I told her how I'm a breast cancer survivor. So she put my little breast cancer symbol on there. And then she just kind of threw some pictures in there. And I just thought it was, I just, I just freaking love it. I really do. So anyway, guys. For today's video, we are going to be diving in a little bit with some Pat McGrath. If you've been watching me for a while, you would know how I talked about how I would never spend $125 for Pat McGrath. Well, I had it. I got them on sale. So I've already gotten one Pat McGrath full price, and that was a palette that Mike got me. Um, he got it set up like it was like for an anniversary birthday gift kind of combo. Our anniversary is in May, and my birthday is this Friday. So he got it for me for that and when he told me to order it I was literally and if you've seen my video on that I was literally shaking like shaking because the Divine Rose 2 came out and I had told him it was out of stock and it came back in and I just like cried I just we were talking in the, in the shower and I was like yeah you know this palette came back out and I really wish I was gonna spend that much money but I, I never would spend that much money on a palette and he said well how much is it and I told him and he's like well you know I spend that on my RC cards just go ahead and get it and I was like Really? He's like, yeah. I'm like, oh my God. Jumped out of the shower, ordering it, shaking the whole time because I never, ever would anticipate spending that much money on makeup. I mean, come on, it's makeup, right? And I have her smaller palettes and, you know, like the small, tiny ones. And then I have like one of her, the Golden Opulence palette that's just, you know, one, you know, six little pans in it. And I thought, you know, I'm not going to spend that much on makeup. I'm just not going to do it. But then when I used her small palettes, I'm like, oh my gosh, like her formula is amazing, amazing. But still, I was still on the fence about spending that much money on makeup. And I'm by no means throwing this out at you guys. I am not a makeup artist whatsoever. And if you've been here before, you would know that. I'm just an almost, as a Friday, 52-year-old lady that just loves makeup. I love it so much. It calms me. It relaxes me because my social anxiety disorder, I don't get to go out of the house very much. And with my PTSD and bipolar and all this other crap that I have going on in my head, it just kind of gets tangled a lot up there. I get very depressed during the summer and I, I threw a little thing on Instagram stories and my Facebook. A lot of people get depressed during the winter. And I do have my, mo my moments. I get depressed and it just kind of goes on for like a week and then it just kind of, you know, I get better. Sun makes me feel better mentally, but at the same time, it does the opposite. I'm allergic to the sun. I can't go out in the sun. My vitiligo areas, you can see one right here. My vitiligo areas explode if I go out in the sun. They become inflamed. They get welted. I itch. It drives me insane. And I break out like in hives. If I'm in the sun longer than like 20 minutes, half an hour, it just goes insane. With, with 110 SPF. I can't be in the sun. So when it's beautiful outside, like it's like 90 degrees here today in West Virginia. I can't go out there and enjoy it like everybody else. I see people like, well, right now, like nobody can really enjoy it. So everybody else kind of knows what I'm talking about here. But I can't go to the beach. I can't go to the pool. I can't go outside. You know, I can't do any of that fun stuff people do during the summer. Cookouts, family events. It's, I can't do any of that fun stuff. So summer kind of depresses me. So that's what's taken so long for me to get videos done this week. I threw my video on last week um, that I did... I did a couple with no makeup on, just just didn't have it, you know, didn't have it in me. And then, plus I wanted to show you my skin, which kind of did a little opposite effect on me the last couple of days. I have a scratch from my dog. I got a couple little spots that, you know, went bzz on me. I don't understand where that came from. And now that I'm looking back, I think it came from the water at the campground. Um, it always does that to my skin. It usually takes a few days for it to come and show me itself. But I also threw up a video that I did while I was camping. Other than that, I haven't been filming and I apologize for that, guys. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, which if you want to be part of my giveaways, I do not require that. But if you are on Instagram, then I do ask that you follow me over there. But I do do a lot of posts over there. Um, and I'm going to try to maybe do some giveaways over there as well. But I am doing a big giveaway for my birthday. Big. Okay. So 
that video, I will be doing a video, that will, video will be going up on my channel this Friday, July the 10th, and I'll be running it probably through the month, so look out for that video, and I'm, I'm, I'm filming three videos today. I'm doing this one here, and I'm doing two others. So getting back to Pat McGrath, because you know, I kind of go off subject, and you guys know that, so you might want to, if you, if you look, I'm going to put a timestamp for this one. I'm going to put a timestamp, because I, I kind of go off tangents. So I am going to put the timestamp down below, but anyway, talking about Pat McGrath. We were sitting here, my husband and I were talking. We had a really bad camping trip as far as the start. We had our truck break down. Something happened with the transmission, so we had to get another truck while we were there because we were stranded at the campground. Then our air conditioner went on our house. We had to replace the system of air conditioning. It just got done today. I was going to be filming this morning, but then um, Billy came to do the air conditioning, so we had to put our new air conditioning in. It just got finished about a half hour ago. So I'm just now getting it on here, and it's already 4 o'clock. So that happened. So financially, we were like... Hmm. Okay, what are we going to do now? Um, years ago, we were in dire straits with financial reasons, like major, major dire straits. I had a cleaning business and the economy tanked. My cleaning business pretty much went nil. I had a few things here and there, but I lost all my real estate clients. I lost my um, commercial clients all at one time. Literally, we lost our house. We lost our cars. We lost everything. So we had to start all over again. And we've had to do that two times. We didn't lose two houses two times. We lost vehicles a couple times. We have filed bankruptcy. So guys, if you're in a bad shape right now, we have been there. We have done that. So me getting on here talking about makeup and stuff is, it's hard for me to recommend products that cost this much money with the way times are going. So that's why I'm going off on this seven minute tangent right now because I'm trying to tell you where I'm coming from when I talk about my excitement about this because to me, this is like a kid getting a new toy because makeup to me is like, it's so exciting because I didn't start getting all this stuff for like a year ago. So for me to have the many palettes as I do, and I literally have, I'm not bragging, please. And I tell you this all the time. And I tell you this because I want you guys to know I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm just telling you, I have like 180, I don't know, maybe 185 now. I don't even know anymore palettes because I get a lot in my, my subscription boxes. Okay. I get a lot. I get a lot of subscription boxes, but over the weekend I canceled six subscription boxes so that I could get Pat McGrath because I get a lot of subscription boxes I really don't like. Um, I usually give them two times to see if I'm going to like them again, but there's a couple that I'm like, you know, I probably won't like them. I looked at some sneak peeks and I'm, I'm not going to like them. So why, you know, why keep them, right? So I decided to get rid of them and I told my husband I did that and I told him that Pat McGrath was having a sale um, over the weekend for 4th of July. So he told me to go ahead and get the palettes that I didn't have. So... Yeah, um, I'm going to try not to get emotional here, but he is so good to me, guys. He didn't have to do that, um, guys, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I'm not going to get emotional, I'm not going to get emotional because I just put Pat McGrath foundation on, that's expensive too. Um, but that meant so much to me when he told me he was going to do that for me. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. I think I got it together now. Good thing I didn't do my under eyes yet. Anyway, um, he told me to go ahead and order the ones I didn't have. So, I did. Um, I placed an order for two of them on the third and two of them on the fourth. And I got two of them already. I got them yesterday, so it surprised me that they came that fast. But the other two haven't shipped out yet. I don't know why. But anyway, I got one that I had already ordered. I got that in last week. And that's the one we're going to be doing today. The other ones I'm not even going to show you yet. I'm going to wait till I get them all in. And I'm just going to do a Pat McGrath video showing you everything I have. Anyway, whew. Okay, got to stop. Got to stop. But I am going to be using the highlighter that I got yesterday. And I want to show you this. I've never used her highlighter. Oh, sorry guys. But this is her highlighter. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And this mark across here was because when I closed the lid, this, this didn't go down. I, I accidentally closed the lid on it. But that is the highlighters. And look, I'm going to go ahead and swatch them so that way we can see them. This looks white, doesn't it? It's not. I'll show you. So this is this one. And by the way, I changed some settings on my camera and my lighting. So we're going to see how it works. So we'll see. And this looks gold. I mean white, but it's gold. Can you tell? It's gold. And then of course the gold. 
that is the highlighters. Can you tell this one's gold? It's like a light gold. But aren't they beautiful? This reminds me of Pull Talk a lot. But I think they're so pretty. So we're going to try them today. Um, let me see if I can do a swatch. I'm not sure how they're going to swatch since I only got... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can we see them? Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, my God, guys. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry that it took me so long to get to this point and then I went off on that emotional journey and I'm not even sure it just I'm not sure why I got that way I'm not I just can't I can't believe I got that way over makeup but see this is what makeup does to me guys it just it, it just stirs emotions in me and people don't some people I know you get a lot of you guys will understand exactly where I'm coming from but some people just don't understand it it's just makeup it's just skincare but they just don't get it and I know a lot of you guys will um, but yeah, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about Mother Pat. And if you don't know, I'm just going to read you her little story on that, okay? And we're talking about decadence. And the thing, it was a re-release because this was out years ago. And the only thing I don't really like about it is that the box is different. This is fake. It doesn't have a normal thing. But look how beautiful that box is. Isn't that gorgeous? And it does have all the information on the back. And then the palette is normal. It's her normal black, beautiful palette with the gold on the back. And if you've never read the back of her palette, it's so funny. It says, news with caution, shade throwing in eye ecstasy may result with prolonged use. I just love that. And then she has the card that has the names of each shade so you can put it in front of you when you're looking for the shade names. And then on the back it says, Pat McGrath, the mother of makeup and the runway. 25 years of groundbreaking artistry, obsession, inspiration, addiction. 87 makeup trunks used backstage at Fashion Week, artistry, alchemy, allure. Created the look for 3,300 runway shows on 120,000 models. Technique, technology, truth. The makeup master behind 401 magazine covers. Master, mastery, mastery, mesmerization, majorness. So that's Pat and Mother Pat. Okay, so this, this palette... And if you, like I said, it's very sturdy, very heavy. It does have where you can take the cover off. I am not going to do that because I want to keep it as beautiful as I can. These are all raised. And if you take this off, you know, it does have the raised. Um, it says the PML, which Pat McGrath Labs. And then it has like these little Egyptian um, emblems on them. I don't know if it's going to come through because the light reflecting plus it has, you know, that cover on it. I don't, I don't think it will. Yeah, it probably won't. It's just too many things reflecting on it. But we're going to look. And just to let you know, I did swatch these a little earlier on my arms because I wanted to see which palette I was going to use because I have, like, I'll, I'll end up having all of them. But I just wanted to see which one I was going to use. And this one's just too pretty. I decided to use it. But there are no mattes in this palette at all. And there's no special shades. Usually with her palettes, there's 10 pans. Eight of them are your kind of normal shades. Normal as being Pat McGrath can be. And then the last four are usually her special formulas which are like your, like your, um, your duo chromes, tri chromes, things like that. But this one here is all shimmers and look, isn't it gorgeous? Look at that. I think it is just simply stunning as stunning can be. Absolutely gorgeous. And we're going to start out and we're going to do swatches because we're just going to do swatches because they're absolutely gorgeous. So I haven't done swatches since I've changed my camera setting, so I'm not sure how it's going to go, but we're going to give it a try. So there's the first color. And see, my like I have it set to like auto track. Oh, our cap's getting ready to do that one again. But anyway, there's that one, and I already have it on my finger. So hopefully this will work. And there's that one. Look, oh my god, guys. And I haven't done like a deep swatch. I just wanted to see what they look like on my fingers. <gasps> oh my god. Would you look at this? Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. And I, th I thumbed the last one, so I'm not sure how this will turn out. <gasps> look. Would you look? Oh my gosh. All right. And then the other side, I'm just going straight across the top on all these. And I saw somebody else swatch this way. Kinky Sweat. I don't know if you know who she is. I follow her. Let me get it to retrack. Um, and she is amazing, guys. You guys got to go check her out. I'll put her channel link down below. But this is the way that she swatches. And I decided, since I do have the tattoos and the vitiligo, this will probably work good. And you know what? It does. Look at that. Oh, 
me do that one again because I, I have my pinky turned the wrong direction. Oh my gosh. So I'm not even sure how I'm going to do a look for this. Let me do that one again. It's hard doing the thumb kind of upside down. But look. So what do you think, guys? I'm excited. I think it's absolutely freaking stunning. And she did say in her video, Kinky Sweat did, that you can actually take one shadow, lay it down with your finger, and then you can buff it out on the edges to make it look like you have a mat on your eye. But have you ever seen me do just one color? <laughs> I never do just one color. I never do one color, but I do want to try to make it as quick as I can since I do have other videos to film, and my videos get way too lengthy, so I don't want to do that. And I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, primer, and I've never used it before. I'm going to bring you in a little closer. I've never used it before, so I'm not even sure how well it's going to work on me. Um, I've had it sitting on there for a few minutes to see whether I was going to have a reaction to it, um, and I did not. And I also want to show you guys my eyebrows. Um... I'm trying something different, and it's by um, Jackie Midgo, and I've been talking to Mama Jackie, and if you buy her products, um, she will actually do a one-on-one -on -one consultation with you. Um, it's a half an hour consultation. She'll actually do a live on Instagram. She'll call you, and she'll actually show you how to use her products. So she and I sat down yesterday, and she showed me how to use her products. And this is the eye gel, the eyebrow gel. And it comes in a pod like this. And it's got the little um, brush at the top like this. And she showed me how to do eyebrows a completely different way. And this color is a little dark. She is sending me, this is a medium brown. And it's kind of like a gray tone on me. So she's sending me a light brown. So we're going to see how that works. But if you look at my, la my eyebrows compared to how they normally look, they look more natural. So I want your guys' opinion. You've seen my brows. You know what they usually look like. Don't pay attention to the coloring because, like I said, the coloring's a little off. But what do you think about the way they look? Because I love it. It's totally different. It's totally different. It's not as chunky looking, and it does look more like hair. Because if you haven't been here before, I lost all my hair from chemo. And this is what happened. My eyebrows, when they came back in, obviously I have hair, but they came back in, like, right here, and then I get a couple pieces here. So I have to shave them completely off, and they grow down in here like way down in here. I don't have any lid space. So I, I, I draw my eyebrows on up higher. So yeah. So anyway, getting back to this, I use this Anastasia instead of my P. Louise and it seems like it's a lot drier. It's not as, it's, it's as thick as P. Louise. So that part's the same. It's the same color as my rumors 0.5, but it's very drying. I don't know I mean, it still feels as tacky. I need to find a white base because I've heard that if you use a white base, that a white base actually will um, make your colors pop more. So, I'm not even really sure what I'm going to do. To be completely honest, I have no freaking clue what I'm going to do with this because there are so many beautiful colors in here. But they're also very intense because Pat's colors are extremely intense. Um, very, very pigmented. So this could go bad quickly. And my looks have known to be going bad quickly. I've had some that I look at them and I'm like, what the heck was I thinking? Um, I do use several brushes. I use my bling brushes. Um, you'll see me grab them. Like this one here. This is um, E, I want to say E5, but I don't know if that's right. I don't know, I still don't know my brush numbers yet. I always have to look with my, um, my little magnifying glass here. Um, see, I was wrong. It's an E4. So I'll use this brush a lot um, to lay down like on here. I used my motor brushes. I have several. My favorite, favorite motor brush. Um, this might even be, I don't know if this was, this was it or not. That might not be the, I know it in this one. It's uh, M18. This is my favorite one for getting in my crease. Um, yeah, it's the same one. It's a different color. And I used I used these motor brushes. I mean, I use several different types of motor brushes. And I also use um, my Juno brushes. So you'll see me use those. So those are the brands of brushes I use. And I also use Sigma. So I use several different brands of brushes just to kind of let you guys know. So you'll see me grab several different ones. Um, I also use another brand called Protec that's by Sigma. So there's no really particular. I love my motor brushes because they're very inexpensive. Um, a lot of them you can find at Walmart, the Royal and Nickel, 
uh, Rolling for a Nickel is where I get mine from. And they also have their own brand there as well. So I will be using them too. So just to kind of let you know what br what brushes I use so we can kind of go from there. And a follow up on the ones I got in my BoxyCharm, the $90 brushes. They're okay, but not for 90 bucks. No, I did use this one today for some cream highlighter. I mean, bronzer. It wasn't really a cream. It's actually a Jackie Midgo's um, foundation sample I got in. It's way too dark. It's 151 and it was too dark. So I used it as a contour and I used this to buff it out and it actually did, it did pretty good, but not for 90 bucks. There's no way in hell I paid 90 bucks. Just would not. Nope, 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 and nope. And then I have this other brand here. I don't even know what it is. It is, I think it's a Farah. It's a Farah that I got in one of my boxes too. Um, I don't even know if I want to go like all over with the color or just start at the outside edge and work my way in because since they're all shimmers, you know, you know, I just, this is a hard one. I think I'm just going to go ahead and, and act like it's not a shimmer and I do have a mirror in front of me here that I'll be looking in. I'm just going to pretend it's not a shimmer and just lay down. Let me get my color sheet here and, and see what colors I'm going to use. Um, yeah, I, I'm sorry guys. I just, I thought I'd planned it before I got on, but I did not. I'm going to lay down Divine Mink, which is this one right here on the outside corner and just pray to God that it doesn't look too bad. Ooh. And Mama, Mama Pat does have some fallout. Um, so that's why I did not do my under eyes. Um, her shadows are just so rich in pigment that a lot of hers do have fallout. Not all of them do, but a lot of them do, just to kind of let you know. And I barely picked up any on that brush, guys. <laughs> and there's still a lot on there. So I'm going to kind of tap some over here because... Obviously, I got a little too much on that brush. And instead of wasting it on the back of my hand, I'm going to put some on the other eye. Some people just type it off on the back of their hand. I'm, I'm just going to use it on the other eye. Why waste it on the back of my hand when I know I'm going to need it on the other eye? And I do have very wrinkle eyes. Um, so a lot of times, the way colors look on me aren't going to look the same on someone else. And I have dry eyes, and this um, base is a little dry, but it is grabbing the colors well. And I still need to try to find a white, a white one. Like I said, I haven't looked. Um, I do know of a couple of different brands, so I'm going to look for that. But you see the way it's already starting. Look at this side, and then look at this side, and you can see where this one over here is already starting to buff out like a mat. So if you put it down, you tap it down, and then you kind of just buff it, it buffs out into a matte color. So you can turn that dark color into a, um, a matte just by buffing. So that's, that's, that's amazing. I love that. And if I pl place it down with my finger, then it's going to be even more intense. If you use her colors wet, they're even more intense. So there's different ways you can use her, her shadows. And her website will also give you tips and tell you different ways to use them as well. And usually she sends you an email letting you know different tips when you buy her products. All right, now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to be using one of my bling brushes for that. If I can get to it, I will. Okay, and this is it's from the Starry Night Collection. It is E13, and it's this brush right here. I'm just going to kind of buff that out a little bit. And just kind of bring it in a little bit. And I'm not, like, doing any kind of instruction here because, like I said, I'm not a makeup artist by any means. I just like playing and discovering different techniques. And I watch a lot of videos. And I've gotten so much better over the last year um, of doing things. And sometimes I'll, I'll do a look and I'll be like, oh, wow, I really like that. Um, I did a look the other day on Instagram with the cremated palette that I really, really liked. I'm not going to be doing one on my channel because I'm not just not going to do it. I'm not even going to bring the subject up, but I really liked it. And then another day I'll do one and like my color pop one. I didn't, I didn't like that one very much. Um, so, you know, it just some days I like my looks and some days I'm like, what was I thinking? Like one I did back 
It's an Ipsy bag I did. It was a blue look. It was, um, I think that was also a ColourPop. And I hated that look so much. So much. It was like my whole face was blue. I just did not like that. And I've just learned techniques since then. And, you know, I'll just continue to learn. And I'm hoping that I continue with my channel. There's days, there's days where I'm like, I don't know, you know, especially this whole financial thing. It just hit, just hit me really, really weird. And I wasn't sure whether I wanted to continue. I'm being honest with you guys. If I wanted to continue doing this because I felt like, I don't know if it's going anywhere. I don't know if I'm reaching people. I want to be able to reach people to help people get through some of the things I've got through, you know, like with the cancer and the social anxiety disorder. But I want to be able to help you guys with that. And I'm hoping that I'm reaching enough people to be able to do that. And I'm hoping my channel's out there enough to do that. So I'm hoping, hoping it does. I'm really hoping it does. And now I'm going to lay down a color now across my lid. And I'm thinking this might be too dark. That's going to be too dark. Yeah, it's way too dark. I'm gonna, I'm going to use, I'm gonna use this one right here. And that color is called, oh, I don't know what it's called. It's called Sterling. Yeah, that's what it's called. And I'm gonna use my finger for that. So I'm gonna wipe my finger off, dry my finger off. I do have a towel that I keep in my lap, by the way. And then we're going to just tap it down. Oh, wow. Wow, that is so pretty. And her firmness, guys. Oh, I just can't describe to you. I have never. And someone told me. My friend Jennifer told me that once I used a Pat McGrath, that I'd be hooked. Because her formulas are out of this world. And she was not lying, guys. I mean, it's just, I can't describe to you what it feels like. I don't know if it's like partially mental, you know, like, oh, it's a luxury brand. I put a luxury brand on me. I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not, but oh my gosh. I mean, it's just like liquid metal. Look at that. Can you guys even see what I'm seeing in my mirror? And I do kind of pull my face like a look away to make my eyeball like roll different with my eyelid. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. And then I'm going to buff out the edge in a minute here. And I'll show you a trick that I saw Kinky Sweat do. So when Alicia did it, I didn't think about doing it until I saw her do it. But what she does, she takes a flat brush and rounds it out. So she puts a little bit on her brush and just rounds that edge out so that it's not like messy. That, is, that makes so much more sense than just, you know, fingering it. Then putting your finger, you know, with the color and doing it. So she does that. To round it, she brings it up. Because she has kind of like deep set eyes like I do. Just not as hooded as I have. Okay, and then I'm going to go back again with that other color. Tie it in there. And I'm very lightly tapping my brush in. Just like, on the, I'm going to get in the edge. I'm not even putting the whole brush in. This has a little bit of a tip to it, if you can see that tip that it has to it. So I'm just like barely tipping that edge. And then I'm brushing it like a, I'm pulling it against... So I'm taking like, I'm just doing like this and I'm just pulling it. That way I'm not getting too much on the brush. And then what I'm going to do I 
is I'm going to buff it in and around. In and around. I'm going to kind of pull it down. Oh my gosh, this color is so beautiful, guys. Freaking love it. I do. It's just so simple, you know? It's so simple to have these two colors, but it looks like I have more colors just because of the way it's buffing out. Okay. There's really not a highlighter color in here because this, this gold, um, which is called Sinful, and that's the one where I said the blue up here. That's this color right here. I'm going to I'm going to see what that looks like just right here. Because I might just use one of the highlighter colors for that. Yeah, that's actually pretty though. That's actually pretty. You know what I want to do is I'm going to grab this little brush right here. And this is one of the Pentax brushes. And I'm just going to tap that, that gold. And then I'm going to bring it just a little bit. Just right there. to kind of do like a silver and gold look and then underneath I'm going to take this color right here and that is called a mesmerized no hedonistic I don't know where I got mesmerized from I'm taking that right here and putting it right down there I don't know if you guys, since I changed my angle, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hold this here. So that way I'm still up so you guys can see. Because I changed the angles on my camera and everything. I wish I could put this mirror up here, on, but I can't. It won't. The ledge is very skinny. One of these days I will have a makeup room. I will. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. All right. I'm going to turn my camera off, turn it back on, since it's getting ready to do it on its own, so I don't miss anything. You didn't even know I did that, did you? And then I'm going to skip over to the purple that we used on the outside. I'm going to use it on the small brush and just bring it down to tie it in there. And I'm not really getting the fallout. I thought I was going to get fallout. I'm not. I don't know whether it's just this particular palette. Um, or maybe the colors I'm using, the brushes I'm using, the way I'm doing it, I'm not sure. But it's actually working pretty good. It could be, I know what it could be. Um, the guy that did our air conditioning work is bringing our thermostat back, so it could be that too. And you know what I'm going to do? I just feel like it. I'm going to put my elbow in that. I'm going to use this color here underneath my eye as well. And this color is called Inferno. And that's this one right here. And same brush. I'm just going to use the same brush. Just continue with it. And I'm going to put it right here. And that kind of ties these two colors in together. I'm trying to use as many colors in this palette as I can. Because I do. I just do that. Because I just love testing all the colors out. Because the way they swatch on an arm is completely different than the way they, they look on your eyes. Because of eye color difference, you know, your skin on your eyes is a totally different color. And if you use base, which I always recommend using a base, no matter what brand it is. Just because of staining possibilities. And plus you want to hold that color in there and grip it. You know what we need? I think we need a blue. I think we need a dark blue on there. What do you think? I think we need to get the dark blue that's on the outside edge. We need to get that color. We do. You know what that color's called? I don't. Let's look. It is called. Ooh, I can't even see it. Underworld. And that's that color right there. We're gonna we're gonna pop that in. We're gonna see what that looks like on here. Ooh, yes, yes. Just darken that outside edge up just a little bit. Yes, ma'am. Oh yes, 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 yes. And now. I'm going to add more of that silver just right here just to kind of bring it up a tad bit more because when I close my eyes my hood covers it so I'm going to just bring it up just a little bit 
I'm going to look full on in my little mirror here so that my eyes are opened so I can see kind of what I'm looking at. And then I'm going to use this little brush by Farah. Just kind of pop it like this. And just kind of go back and forth a little bit, you know, just trying to look at each eye, see what each eye it needs. And then I'm going to, for an upper highlight, since there's really not upper highlight color in here that's going to work for me. Because I don't think this one would be light enough. Yeah, see that one? That one there is not light enough for me to use for an upper highlight. Um, I think that's going to be too dark. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use one of the highlighter colors because I think that's going to look good. We're going to use that one that looks like pink. And we're going to use that as a highlighter color. Let's see how that works. Can't really tell. There it is. Okay. At first I couldn't tell whether it was really showing up, but it it is. I just couldn't really tell. Oh, there it is. And it's exactly like Pull It Talk, guys. Exactly. I don't know if that gold would look better, though. Let me see what it looks like in the corner before I put it up there. Yeah, I definitely don't want that up there. Oh, my gosh. Guys. I hope the highlighter looks this good on my face. This is what it's doing in my eyes right now. Do you see that? All right, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to go off camera, finish this, throw this highlighter on. I'll do the highlighter in front of you. I'll put it on my nose. I'm, I'm going to do it over here on front of you, but I'm going to finish this up, and then I'll be right back. Stay tuned. All right, my lovelies, I have returned with a completed face. So what do you guys think? I want to bring you in just a little bit more so you can look at everything here. Okay, so this is the completed look that you saw me doing. I don't know, guys. I love it. I don't know what you guys think out there and what you're seeing across, you know, how it's coming across on your screen, but I freaking love it. This color here applies like a dream. It applies like a wet kind of feeling. Like it's very smooth. I don't know how else to describe it. It's very smooth. It goes on like a dream. This one here, like I said, you saw how it swatched on my arm. I mean, it just goes on like... I don't even know how to describe it. I wish I could describe it to you how it goes on. I just dropped the box. Okay. But I mean, it goes on like it looks like this and you can see the shimmer in it, but then it blends out, you know, like a matte, just like um, Alicia and Kinky Sweat, her channel. Okay. I'm, I'm getting blurry again. <laughs> That's the new setting on my, on, my, on my camera for you. But it goes on with a finger like this, but then you can blend it out like I did to be like a matte. So, and I can show you on my arm like it goes on like this but then you can blend it out so you can still have that shimmer on the end on the front but then you can blend the edges out you know to make it into a matte and that's what i did and it worked and i freaking love it i absolutely positively love it so is the palette worth 120 dollars? well i paid 112 for this one but the other ones are on sale right now or they were they may still be i know it was a fourth of july sale but they still were yesterday but you can get some of them for 100 some for 112 some for 113 It's just a mixture of prices. That's something that you're going to have to decide whether or not you want to pay that much for this palette. I was a little hesitant because of all the shimmers. And if I wouldn't have watched Kinky Sweat's video, I would not have known that you could actually buff them out into a matte. I had, would never have known that. So when I got it, Obviously, when I looked at the colors online, I didn't even pay attention to the fact I thought this was a matte. I didn't even pay attention. I thought this was a matte. Did not know until I got it and I opened it. First, I was like, <gasps> because of the colors. And then I was like, dag, oh, there's no mattes in there. How am I going to like do this? Am I going to have to use another palette, you know, to work with this one? How am I going to do this? I do wish that there was a later shimmer color for, you know, your highlight colors. I do wish that. That's one thing I do wish there was, but I was able to use her highlighter color. Get into the highlighter. I did use it here and here. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to lie. I wish, I do wish it, wish it was a little bit lighter in color. Um, 
I think on a darker skin tone, it's going to be absolutely stunning on a darker skin tone. I am going to do now, I'm going to do up here because I did not do that yet because I want it to wait until I had you on camera. You guys know I love my Pillow Talk Ofra. That's like my favorite um, Ofra highlighter and this is just like that. It's got the exact same payoff. It's got the same feel. It's got the same look as Pillow Talk. Pretty much the same price, to be honest with you, as what the um, Ofra, because Ofras are expensive too. Um, but yeah, it feels the same. Even on the finger, it felt the same. It's performing the same. This actually got on sale for $30, I think. That could be wrong. No. The primer. I guess I got the primer too, because I wanted to try the primer with the foundation, because I love the foundation. Love it. But I only liked it with my YSL. Didn't like it with any other primer I tried. So I tried her primer today, and so far I'm really enjoying it. Um, we'll see, you know, as the, as the time wears on, you know, using it longer. This is what it looks like. Um, I think the Pillow Talk might be a little brighter. Might be a little brighter. I want to try this other color just to see. The one has like that little, like a, glow, a gold reflex to it. And layer it and see what it looks like. Oh, now look at that. Oh, yes. I'm not even a gold highlighter person. Oh. <gasps> Yes, ma'am. Oh my, oh my. That just took it up another level. Is it my favorite highlighter? No. Um, Gina, I know you had asked me to tell you what I thought of it. If you like a white highlighter, this is not going to be your cup of tea. If you like a gold highlighter, rose gold, yes, this will be your cup of tea. Um, it does not show texture. It does, I mean, it shows a little bit. It's not a glittery type highlighter. So if you like a soft highlighter, this is definitely your cup of tea. Um, if you like glitter for your highlighter, like some of the Jeffree Star Chunky Glitter, this is not going to be your cup of tea. But if you like a soft highlighter that gives you just the amount of oomph that I mean, you can see, it's a blinding highlighter. So if you like this kind of highlighter that's soft and smooth, um, see, I don't know if I'm going to like this new setting because it's blurry. Let me try something. No, I don't know if I'm going to like this new setting. But if you like, there we go. If you like this type of, like, it's kind of in your face, but not in your face. So when you look straight on, it's not that type of, you're not going to get those weird shadows, if that makes any sense. Um, it's very pretty. It's a very pretty highlighter. Um, but I like it. I um, don't honestly know, though, if it's worth the price. I really don't. I think it's just, it's just kind of like your typical highlighter. It really is. I don't think it's, I don't think it's something that I'm going to be grabbing every single day like I did my Pillow Talk. Um, my Pillow Talk, actually, you know what? I have it right here because I have it in a three pan. Let me do a comparison swatch for you so that way I can see, you know, the difference between the two. Okay, so this is the Pat McGrath and this is the Pillow Talk. Okay, so the Pillow Talk, okay, they are different. The Pat McGrath's got more of like a duochrome look. This is the Pillow Talk, this is the Pat McGrath. Um, so they're very, very similar. But the Pat McGrath's got that, like, you know, iridescent. And the Pillow Talk is just a straight pink. So if you like a little bit of an iridescent, you're going to like the Pat McGrath. If you like just a straight pink highlighter, you're going to like the Pillow Talk. Because they're both absolutely stunning. Pat McGrath and Pillow Talk, very similar. Not a whole lot of difference. Just one has a little more, um, like I said, it's got a little more of the... Um, it's got a lot, of, like, like a lot of opacity to it too, compared to the Pillow Talk. But they're so similar. They're so similar. And then I have this one is the one that I have. It was a special edition one for the Y2K that I have. Um, and I love this highlighter palette. That's probably my favorite highlighter palette in the Ofra. And my favorite highlighter palette of all times is the Makeup Maniacs palette um, that she's got, or they have. I love. That's probably my favorite. It is my favorite highlighter palette. I love that. I love that palette. But anyway talking about this one well am I glad I bought it <laughs> yes I am 100% glad I bought it because it is absolutely stunning you guys have have seen it in action you see how the colors play off each other I, put, I went ahead and put some more blue down here as I was doing it because I, I forgot I hadn't done my under eyes yet it didn't have any fallout like I thought it would and you can see how much kick up was in the pan and it's nothing nothing I love it absolutely love it I think it's worth the price point personally well I can't really say it's worth the price point because 
I think all her shadows are overpriced. I really do. I don't think they're none of them are worth hundred twenty five dollars, but they're luxurious. You know, it's that that's just her line. You know, it's up there. I think seventy five. Honestly, I would I think seventy five because it's a little bit better than Natasha Denona. Natasha Denona's low price is sixty five and she goes up to what one hundred and twenty one hundred and twenty. Natasha Denona is not worth one hundred and twenty. I'm sorry, it's not. I just ordered the Sunrise palette for sixty five. That is a better price range. This is better than Natasha Denona, so I think it's more worth the seventy five eighty five dollar price range if you're looking for a luxury. If you if you if you're going to pay a luxury price range, it's better than Natasha Denona. However. Is it worth 125? Eh. Yeah. I know I said a minute ago it's worth 120. It's it's worth a luxury price, but maybe not 125 dollars. I paid less than that. 112 I paid for it, maybe, maybe, but it's still it's it's pricey, and I I don't think I want to pay 125 dollars for a, a palette again. She is supposed to be coming out with a new one, but I don't know whether I'll pay 125 because. You know, I got them because they were on sale. The other ones I got, I paid a hundred bucks a piece for them, and it still was really like you saw how emotional I got because that's just—I never thought I'd be doing that. You know, when I was paying my ColourPop twelve dollars, I'm like, I'm paying twelve dollars for, for, for makeup. That was like, whoo for me. You know, Juvia's Place and ColourPop is more my price range. That's more easier for me. If something was to happen to a palette, I dropped that a minute ago, guys. I was taking my 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 thumbnail pictures. And I, it, my camera fell, and it fell on top of it, and it fell to the floor, and I screamed. Like, I let it really loud out. I was like, oh my gosh. And then it fell into my Jouer blush, because I put some Jouer on, and then I was, I, I looked at that, and then my, and, the, and, and my foundation fell. It was a mess, and I freaked out. So, if it would have been another palette, yeah, I would have freaked out, but not as much as I freaked out about this. So, you gotta get, take that into consideration. You were thinking about that. So, anyway, I love the palette. Plain and simple. Love the palette. Love the color payoff. Love the way it performs. All that good jazz. On my lips, I have Antigia, which if you've followed me before and seen my video on my Antigia lips, this is another color I designed. I will leave a link down below. It is an affiliate link, so I do make a little percentage off of it. It's a very small percentage, so feel free to just go to her website if you do not want to use my link. That's completely up to you, but I do need to let you know that it is an affiliate website, affiliate link. But this is Antigia. She makes her own lip colors, or you can make your own. And in my last video, I said that I wish that they would put a label on the bottom, and she heard me. She did. So she said she made especially for Jenny. I'm not sure whether I can see. Let me put my glasses on. I'm not sure whether it's coming through or not, this new setting. Um, but it says, made especially for Jenny. So she put that on the bottom. Um, yeah, I don't know if this new setting's gonna work, guys. I tried it out the other day and I was trying it and I'm like, oh my god, it's actually working. And now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if it is or not. But yeah, she there it is. But she put that on the bottom for me, so I thought that was great. And she also made sure it didn't have a light in it. Because I wasn't keen on the on the light, you know, I really wasn't. But this is the color that I picked this time. Yes. Absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And for the lip liner, I did use Pat McGrath because she had it on sale for $14. And it is the color um, Night Fever. And this is the packaging, once again, glorious, beautiful packaging. And you also get, um, in the box, you get a sharpener. And this is the color that I got. This is what it looks like. Right, well, you can't really see that, but that's what it looks like. Um, so that's right up my alley. As you know, that's the colors I wear. And then I put in the middle, I put the other color that I made last time, and that does have the light in it. Um, and then I also got a lip gloss. She had a buy one, get one free that if you bought, if you did a, a create your own lipstick, then you got a lip gloss for free and I chose Angel. This does have that in there, but this is Angel. You really probably won't see it because it's just a, um, just a gloss. Yeah, it's not even showing up, but this is the gloss. It's hard to see it. It's just a, like a little crystallization gloss. And then she also sent me with that, she sent me a couple little surprises. She sent me her blush, which I have some of that on. I put that on on top of my um, my Jouer, but this is the, the, the blush. It is called Party, and this is what it looks like in the pan. And it's not as dark as you think it is. It actually goes on really nice. That's the color. And then she also sent me, which I have not swatched yet, it is an eyeshadow. It's called Glacier. 
And let's see what it looks like. It's a white, so it's probably not going to show up. Well, it does actually, but that is, I could probably use that as a upper lid actually color. But anyway, she sent me those two um, because this is my second go around with, with the plant, with the create and lip colors. I think it's amazing that you can actually create your own colors. I think that's just so cool. So cool. Anyway, I know this video went on and on because I wanted to talk about these colors as much as I could, give you as much information as I could. This palette actually, when it came out before, I do believe if I remember right, when it came out before, it actually came out with the regular um, case that, you know, or the box. And the case actually came in different things. It came in a gold case. It came in a Star Wars case. There was different additions to the case. So you can find them on eBay. And I've actually seen them go very expensive. I've seen them go for like 200 bucks on eBay for the Star Wars edition. But there are different additions to this that you can find. So if you're looking for a different edition, check eBay because they do have them on there. I have seen them. But you need to watch because the fake editions do not have this in raised. It's a flat. And they also do not have... Um, the same label on the back. They actually have a plastic label. Instead of having it engraved, it'll have a plastic label on the back. That's how you can tell it's fake. Anyway, I'm done. I got some other videos to film. I think that's it. I think I said everything I need to say. If not, this video is entirely too long for no reason at all. Thank you guys for being here. Um, and for dealing with my emotions. It was, it was a lot. Um, oh, and this is not a fair. It's a, it's a, it's a 1520. I have my glasses on. I can see now. But anyway, um, yeah, it was it was a bit of an emotional journey today. I just I haven't been on here for a while, and I had to get back on because it had been a while since I've been on, and it just kind of taken me a minute to kind of get myself together again. So thank you guys, I appreciate it. Anyway, if you like my video, as long as it was, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Check out the videos that YouTube is recommending for you. And hit the bell notification so you know when I'm on here again. I'm about ready to film two subscription box videos. So hang around. Go find them. They'll, they'll be on here eventually. So look for them. I have some uh, playlists for you. You can check out too. Anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. Take care of each other. Be good to each other and stay safe and come back and see them again. Bye, guys.